welcome back to the lab and today is a special day remember when I said there is gonna be a project coming out soon this is that project so check out what I have created it's un freaking believable it's a lighter oh that one didn't go well but there you go it's a freaking lighter so stick around and I'll show you how to make one mm, I think it's gonna catch fire that's good so what I'm thinking at the moment is actually to take uh, three 18650 batteries like that, connect them in series, which would give us 12 volts. So theoretically, we should get triple the output voltage at the same current. And we are using a micro ZVS driver that I made in the previous video. And uh, that is working really, really good. And uh, we have this transformer. By the looks of it, it will not fit on the inside because we have to fit the circuitry inside the casing. So there is a good possibility we would have to mount it somewhere either on the top or on the bottom. But I have a good feeling that this project will be a good project. Alright guys, so this particular setup is working extremely well. Or I'm just trying out the MOSFET on-off feature, but I think I'm going to commit that. It's producing unnecessary heat. But uh, what I'm going to do is I will just connect this uh, positive here and uh, probe this one. So when I touch it, it turns on. So obviously, if I take a paper stick it in there you got fire so that is all good we are running it of 12 volts uh, that's my plan is to run it from 12 volts that seems to be uh, the best uh, option and uh, yeah it's running pretty good the spark is actually pretty large so uh, we can say that it's a win-win for a lighter Okay guys, another update, and uh, here we have our batteries right here, that's the ZVS driver, a step-up transformer, step-up transformer diode, everything is the same, except I emitted that nasty MOSFET from here, it just doesn't work uh, the way I want to produce this is too much heat, and uh, I added a feature I have added in my other ZVS drivers, and that is auxiliary on off, which works really really well so it's just a simple switch it's not switching any current at all all it does is it gives the gate uh, driver circuitry a positive so that's working really really well and uh, I'll show you that uh, it is capable of lighting up something there is my gas soldering iron so I'm turning it on and boom, as you can see, works just like it should work. So I have moved the spark gap into a horizontal position. So now as I press the button, you can see that uh, the spark gap is actually quite large. Now, if I take a ruler, uh, you can see, well, you gotta do it from the other side, but you got the idea. You can see that the spark distance right now is approximately, uh, yeah, 10 millimeters exactly. And uh, it's working quite, whoop, catching fire, but it's working uh, quite well. And, you know, you can light paper up, you can do whatever you want of this thing and it's quite nice so guys the plan is to take one of the project boxes put three cells inside obviously exactly the same connect them in series so we get 12 volts uh, have some sort of uh, removal system so we could swap packs uh, no problem so 
that would mean that we will have a bunch of radius attacks like this then we take our circuitry uh, put it inside obviously that's all gonna fit so well, the next thing is to take the transformer which I will not use this one but for purpose of showing you I will use the one that's broken and it's gonna be on the outside just like this glued to the casing there's gonna be two holes here uh, which these two terminals will go through and that will make it work there and we will have our diode here and our two terminals here which will work as a lighter pretty cool okay guys we have a update and i had modified the circuit so we still have the step up transformer we have uh, ac coupling but i added a capacitor on the primary of this last stage transformer and we get a resonance there so that increases uh, the overall power output and i had emitted the diode so now as you can see it works pretty pretty good and uh, in fact it's even easier to light up the paper now so as you can see it's working every time and the spark distance had actually increased so that's about one and a half to two centimeters now as you can see that's my finger so that's pretty good all right guys we are at the final stage of the project and what we have established at the moment is the transformer is fixed in place with some super glue uh, as well as some uh, hot glue which should hold it pretty nice in place uh, the driver itself is installed here I placed the, the step up transformer on top of the driver that works nicely I had to omit the sink it just doesn't fit in the design uh, this thing is not intended to be run for more than two seconds anyway so that is all right so there's the Dean's connector here on the design itself and there is the battery this is a 3s lithium-ion battery and uh, there's the Dean's connector here and the balancing plug so I could uh, balance charge this uh, battery using my Grinji Echo AcoCell 6 so pretty much what what will happen is you drain the battery okay uh, there's no way to actually know if the battery had been drained so you kind of have to mm, figure it out yourself but uh, you put in the battery inside like that it fits pretty good and uh, pretty much most of the design and most of the weight comes from the batteries and they don't fall out so I added a couple safety feature to ensure that this thing will not fire in your pocket or whatever you're carrying this thing and uh, there are actually a uh, three push buttons like that that uh, have to be pressed at the same time in order for you to turn it on so I kind of figured out that's probably the way to do it you know three buttons and get a nice arc here uh, that should work pretty well so let's actually test uh, this thing and I'll show you that it is working so I'm going to hook up the Dean's connector here like that okay I'm going to turn it around so because we got the spark gap here so here I, I got my buttons okay two here one here so they have to be pressed at the same time in order for the thing to work and uh, works pretty good I have to say so even now at this stage we can uh, light up paper or you know even the ruler if we want to as you can see it burns the ruler but anyway so it's a nice little uh, lighter so uh, the only question is whether or not the plug the Dean's plug will fit in there uh, so yeah it's kind of something I have to work around but uh, yeah for now everything looks pretty promising and we are almost done
Okay guys, the project is finally complete and I can finally show it to you. So this is a finished product. As you can see, we got our two terminals here where the spark is coming. Okay, also that's the output transformer here. On this side we have the button. Okay, that side we got two more buttons. Bottom, nothing. The back, that's on the back. It's looking like. So here, uh, the changes are that I removed the jumper in the middle and I had included the big jumper here under the transformer so we could put the output terminals in the middle which looks much better so let me open the case and show you what's going on inside so here you can see we have the battery and I had to do some changes to my initial design and that is actually give away the ability to remove the battery because the plug would not fit so what I did is I kept the balancing plug since that we needed for charging and I kept the female plug on the battery uh, for charging and as you can see we got two wires two positives and two negatives coming out of the plug and uh, the battery is pretty much hardwired inside so we have the plug to charge it but we cannot remove it and I'll just show you some of the things in the design there's, there's the two buttons there as you can see uh, connected in series there's the other button hidden under the capacitor there the choke for the center tapped coil is under the capacitor the main uh, step up transformer the first stage rather is on the top of the zvs there you can see a blue capacitor there across the primary of the second uh, step up transformer okay there's no diode okay and that capacitor right down there the yellow one is uh, coupling this secondary coil to this primary coil so they are not directly connected they are coupled with this capacitor which works rather well so the plug fits inside like that that plug goes inside like that and there is just enough space for me to put the top cover on and uh, yeah it wants to go off but it doesn't so yeah working pretty well I'm quite pleased with the result so I had turned off my lighting and we got our lighter here and I will just show you how easily it lights up the paper it's really really fast now the cool thing about it is actually it's powerful now to burn holes through the paper and as you can see it will catch fire eventually but it's pretty pretty cool so guys that was a pretty cool project and I think it's quite cool what we have made anyway that's the end of the video. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel so you will know when a new video comes out. Hit a notification button bell. Uh, bell me on my channel so you will receive notifications when a new video comes out. That's really important to me. And yeah, uh, feel free to suggest any things you might want me to do in the comments down below that will give me new ideas and inspiration and there's actually one more thing we can do to this to make it even more dangerous so stick around there's gonna be a new video coming out soon thank you for watching and see you next time